welcome to our lesson for today. Mm-hmm. So last time we talked about how the Philistines defeated the Israelites and took the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah. And we also talked about how when Eli had that the Ark of the Covenant was in the hands of their enemies, mm-hmm. he fell down, he broke his leg and he, and he died. died. Sadly, he died. Yeah. But the Ark of the Covenant is now with the Philistines. Yeah. So now we're going to see what happens next. Mm-hmm. So the Philistines have the Ark of the Covenant and they are very happy. They finally succeeded and stole the Ark of the Covenant. Mm-hmm. And so they think because they have the Ark of the Covenant, they have the God of the Israelites. Mm-hmm. And they thought that now they were going to be able to rule over the, the children of Israel. Yes. So what they did is they took the Ark and they went and placed it in their temple in front of Dagon. Dagon was their God. Yes. So they placed the Ark of the Covenant in front of their God. So the next morning, they went into the temple only to find their god Dagon lying down with his face down in front of the Ark of the Covenant. Yes, their god, the statue of their god was actually flat, face down in front of the Ark of the Covenant. Mm-hmm. And the Philistines were so scared yeah. because how did this happen? Did it this was happen? so strange. Yeah. How did this happen? Mm-hmm. So they took their statue of their god and they lifted, placed, him, up. lifted mm-hmm. him up and placed him back where you're supposed to be. Yeah. So the, the next, next morning day, again, it was even worse. It was this even time. worse. So they came. They came. They came into the temple only to find their god again Dagon lying down his face that actually his face and his hands were broken and they were at the doorstep and they were at the doorstep and the rest of the statue was in front of the ark of the covenant yes. and, and they were scared they were scared and horrified no, yes because now they are they said that the god of Israel mm-hmm. must be way stronger they're much more, stronger than their Dagon, god Dagon. Than Dagon. Yes. yes and so what happened next is that god struck them with a plague of tumors and the the, the philistines soon realized the, the God of the Israelites must be punishing us. Yes. So they he must decided, be punishing us for what yeah, we did. For so what they, we did. So they we, decided we have, have to, to take the Ark yeah. of the Covenant back. Mm-hmm. They decided we have to take it back so that all these bad things stop happening to us. Because yes, and they actually say the sooner the better. Yes, because the, all these strange happenings were very strange to yes. them. Yeah. So they took two cows mm-hmm. and they put the shaft of a cart between mm-hmm. them. Yeah. And then they loaded the cart with the Ark, Ark of, of the, the covenant, covenant and other gifts. Yes. They even added gifts on top. Mm-hmm. But they were not going to put a, a driver. driver. Mm-hmm. They said if if the cows take themselves down the road to Israel then by themselves, then know. this will prove <laughs> yeah. that it is God who is doing all of these things to us. Mm-hmm. It is the God of Israel who is, who is doing all these things to us. Yes. Mm-hmm. So that is what they did. Mm-hmm. They loaded the, 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 the Ark of the Covenant and some precious gifts and then they released the cows to go. And these cows, although they had their cows like locked up in, in a pen somewhere, mm-hmm. they actually went straight to the border of Israel loudly, so, loudly, and mowing they were loudly. Yeah. They went down the road mm-hmm. of Israel and they got to the border of Israel. Yes. Now and there so, were some Israelites mm-hmm. harvesting in the fields, yeah. and they saw this cart coming. Yeah. And when the cart got to them, they were able to see the, the precious thing load, that was the yeah. precious load of the cart, and they saw that it was the Ark of the Covenant, and, and they, they were happy and, and they, they jumped up and they rejoiced yes, yes. because now the ark of the covenant was, was back where it was supposed them. to be yes. yes so from this we learn that our god the god of israel can actually defend himself he did not need anyone to go and fight to bring the ark of, of the covenant back no. but he defended himself and he made sure that the ark of the covenant was back to where it belonged so children know that we serve a living god and we serve a very strong god that is able to even defend himself we don't need to defend him so now we're going to stand up and sing our song so let's all stand up and sing this song Today we've talked about how God defended himself mm-hmm. and he got the Ark of the Covenant taken back from the Philistines mm-hmm. all the way to, to Israel. Israel. Yes, yeah. the Israelites now had the Ark of the Covenant back. Yes. And we even talked about how Dagon's statue yeah. was found face down in front of the Ark of the Covenant. Mm-hmm. And this just shows us that there is no one like our God. Mm-hmm. So everybody up on Hello. your feet, help us sing this song, How There Is No One Like Our God. Yes.
we've just talked about how the ark of the covenant was taken by mm-hmm. the philistines and how strange things were happening mm-hmm. when the philistines had the ark of the covenant first of all their god was face down in front of the ark of the covenant and mm-hmm. then the, the next, next day, day he was face down and the head and the hands were at the broken, doorstep yeah. and then they were they were struck by a plague of tumors and then yeah. they decided we're gonna give this ark of the covenant back, back to the, the israelites. israelites it needs yeah. to go back so that all this stuff can stop happening to us mm-hmm. and they used two cows and a cart to travel the to ark of the covenant to yes the to transport it covenant. back to the israelites so yeah. now we are going to make two cows and a cart yeah and then we're gonna say two cows carried the ark of, of the, the covenant. covenant so these are our two cows and we're gonna show you how to draw them and yeah. this is our cart where the ark of the covenant and the rest of the gifts that they used yeah. that this is where they were Being put them, yeah. yes so now we're gonna show you how to do this so for this you're gonna need manila paper scissors and a stapler mm-hmm. that's literally what we use oh and a pencil to draw so the first thing we did is we made a cow so we took a piece of yellow manila paper and we drew our cow. So I'm going to show you how to draw a cow. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So I'm going to put everything else on the side. And I'm going to show you how to draw and cut out this cow. So you start with a big oval shape. We all know how to draw an oval. So you draw a big oval shape that is, this is horizontal, right? I think that is horizontal. And after you have your big oval shape, you draw another oval, but this one will be upright-ish. <laughs> and we draw it upright. And this will be the head. And it touches or connects to the other one. Then we need to put detail. So I'm just going to darken this. So remember, big oval outwards. And then another oval upright for the head yeah then we're gonna put details in our head because our cow has details so we'll start with the ears so we'll draw ears out with kind of like a triangle shape but not a full triangle so one side and ears on the other side and then cows have horns so we're gonna give them horns so at the top of the head, draw a horn. On the other side, draw a horn. And cows have eyes, but the eyes are at the side of the head. So we're going to draw an eye on this side. And an eye on this side. And then their nose. So we'll put a line over there. And we'll draw a nose. So now that is the face of our cow. So now our cow needs legs. So <laughs> draw a... Uh, a sort of rectangular is shape at the beginning so rectangle here and then a smaller one right next to that one like that and then here at the back and then a smaller one in front of it right next to it at the back then we're gonna give it hooves I forgot, where does milk come from, from a cow? From the udder. Yes, from the udder. So we'll draw a tail, then we'll draw the udders. So draw a tail at the back. Remember, cows have a long tail, and we're going to make it bushy. And then we're going to draw the udders. Two, three. And we're going to fill that in. So now we have our cow. And we can give our cow circles just a pattern on their body mm-hmm. but this is our cow so now we need to cut out our cow because there were two cows so we made one at first so now you need to make two cows and then you need to cut them out So now I have two cows. So once you're done cutting out your cows, you need to make the rest of your cut. So we're going to go back 
Remember I said we had yellow manila paper that we took and we colored brown and this is going to help us make our cut. So we will take this manila paper and a brown color and we're going to draw our cut. Mm -hmm. So we will start by drawing, Honest, because we've already colored, we just need to draw a rectangular shape. Mm -hmm. So we'll draw a rectangular shape, not the whole paper, but just a rectangular shape. At the corner then we're gonna give it lines so it looks like it's wood that makes it and then wood has these spiral things and once you've created your cut you cut it out And here is our cut. So this is what the cows are pulling. So we have our cut here. Then after we've made our cut, we will create these handles here that allow our cows to pull the cut. So for that, we just need strips of paper. So that paper that you've used to make your cut, just cut out two strips. And there we go, we have our two strips. So now we almost have a complete cut. So we have our strips, we have our cows. Now what we're missing is a wheel. We haven't done the wheel of our cut. Oh. So we are going to take, we had yellow mandala paper and it was a full size mandala paper and we drew a circle shape and we cut it out. So yeah. that is what we're going to use to create our wheel. So take a brown color and put a circle in the middle of this manila paper of ours. Make it very dark and color it in, but don't make it too big. And then around this circle of ours, we are going to draw triangles. So draw a triangle shape and color it in and draw another triangle shape and color it in and another one all around the circle you've drawn in the center so now it looks like a wheel that moves round and round and round so once you've drawn your triangle shapes this is the wheel of our cut so now we have all of our pieces, we need to put them together. So we'll start with the cart. So I'll take my white manila paper where I'm going to place everything and I'm going to join the wheel to my cart. Okay. So I'm gonna take my stapler and join them. So just staple right in the center. Oops, my stapler refused to staple. I think it got stuck. Can I borrow yours to check it? right in the center so that's the first wheel and then we're gonna take the handles and we're gonna connect them to the cart and they're going to be at a different you know they're gonna be looking out so that both our cows can be attached to the cart so i'm gonna give this to charicho now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to attach our cows so as you've seen in this first one we took the handle here and the handle here so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna take the first handle and staple it to the cow at the top And then we're going to place our second cow. I hope you did a second cow. And we're going to staple it to the handle. And there we go. We have our two cows. And they are attached to the cart. And now we're going to write at the top. Two cows carried the Ark of the Covenant. 
So two cows. Carried the ark. Yes. Of the that's a long sentence. Covenant. I actually think it's God who directed. Yes, all the way back to Israel. Yeah. There we go. Two cows carried the Ark of the Covenant. And if you feel like your Ark of the Covenant, your cart is moving too much, just staple it down to your paper. And now we have our two cows yeah. carrying the Ark of the, the Covenant in a cart along with all of the other gifts that the Philistines gave back yeah. so that is our lesson for today and we'll see you next time to find out what happens with the israelites yeah. but for now bye, bye.